welcome man welcome back to the channel man finally got the the tools i needed to show you guys how to do uh cam phasers uh camshaft uh even the complete valve train assembly guys here's the tools you would need i will put the list in the description okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, take apart the bank two cylinder head okay bank two on any particular 3.6 liter engine okay uh in a, on a minivan it could be uh considered uh the front cylinder head all right first thing first man let's mark these cam phasers in relationship to the timing chain this is after we have brought number one cylinder up make sure number one uh top dead center guys okay let's mark even the little dots we want to make sure we see everything now here's the block okay we're going to use p uh 2102 zero two okay with the numbers facing up okay we're gonna put that in bank two and you may have to use a wrench to rock it back and forth in order to get the two in its place all right now what we're gonna do is remove the oil control valve okay this uh this boat plays double duty okay it's the, also the cam phasers boat but uh it's actually an oil control valve okay so let's get it off because ladies and gentlemen uh personally you can remove these cam phasers without any special tools okay once you get the oil control valve valve off to the phaser just simply rock it back and forth and that cam phaser will come off okay now uh getting it back on could be a task for uh you okay that's where the new the tools will come into place all right so what i'm gonna do i have a engine sitting on my table uh i'm gonna show you a cutaway view of how it's done uh with the engine apart at least with the front timing chain cover apart okay yeah just take this cam phaser out the way you don't need any kind of tools to remove it you may need a tool to install it okay now let's go to this engine guys here's the engine i have the tool in place so i'm gonna take it out and show you how it's installed okay it's installed the same way as if you was installing it on the engine now the goal is create a uh, slack in the chain okay you will need this too all right so let me take it out now what I'm going to use is uh, the pick, special tool pick. What we're trying to do is place it in that little small hole. What we're trying to do, we need to lift up on the paw. We need to lift up on the paw in order for that uh, shaft to retract back into the tensioner. Okay, we're trying to get that back inside of the tensioner so we can have enough slack. All right, grab your tool for this particular head. Place it inside of here. Uh, same as if you was doing it on the car okay I'm just showing you a cutaway view now grab your little pick and lift up on the paw again we want to create some slack in the chain so lift up on it now set your tool into place like this it's like two indentions you're gonna go through now that time and chain guide is off of the chain somewhat okay it's enough slack in there now you can uh, either install your valve train or either take it apart you can use the tool in order to disassemble or assemble okay so uh y'all see that that's how there we go now you won't be able to see that if everything is together okay i'm showing you a cutaway view of an engine all right now it's time to install the grenade pin all right let's simply go in there now you can remove the special tool and do what you have to do now let's go to the car guys I want to show you a way uh, I do it okay I don't somewhat I don't use any tools guys I'm not gonna stay here and lie I'm under time constraint this is the tool for bank one okay we're gonna do bank one on a separate video all right? I don't have time to do it on this video so stay tuned subscribe to the channel so you won't miss that guys all right let's remove this tool man cuz I'm finna show you how I do it on the car I still need a, a, a semi tool I still need tools and if I don't have one, I simply make one out of a coat hanger. But the same theory apply, guys. We're just trying to lift up on this little pole in order to drive the shaft back into the tensioner housing. Now, I just take my trim stick. After I lift up on it, I just take me a little small trim stick and uh, try to drive that shaft back into that tensioner housing, just like this. Okay? got to be extremely careful you don't want to damage that uh that guide all right you, you shouldn't that's no way you can damage see how i drove it in now i'm gonna grab my grenade pin slide it inside of the tensioner and voila so uh you can use a tool if you matter of fact if this your first second or third one i highly suggest you use all the tools all right 
Now we can remove this uh, homemade tool or either the proper tool. We can remove it out the way. Now look at all that slack we now have, guys. That is what we was looking for, okay? Now, from there, guys, you can totally disassemble the complete valve train system, all right? Now, this video is under the assumption you had the whole valve train off. Here go my two camshaft. Here go my valve train parts and my rocker caps, all right? So let's get ready to install everything, all right? Let's uh, put some oil inside of those uh, lifter galley. Okay, you don't want to put any kind of valve train parts on dry. Uh, try not to get into the spark plug hole. Uh, that's not good. Now grab your lifters and we're going to set those in place. All right. Again, guys, this is under the assumption that uh, you have the whole valve train uh, disassembled. Let's say you're replacing all the broken rock arms or all the lifters or either all the camshafts. So this job can go either way. Anything relating to valve train, this job... This will this video will apply to that job because uh, as you can see the time of change just laying to the side and guys I wouldn't panic don't worry about you can put a rope or a jumper you know a, a bungee cord to hold the chain up because uh, if you don't feel comfortable just leaving it there it's not gonna come off time on the crankshaft okay uh, I've done enough to not have to worry but if I was you I would use a bungee cord just to hold it up It'll give yourself a peace of mind, all right? So I'm going to and make sure these rocker arms are good, guys. Don't just install rocker arms just to be installing them because these are the ones that actually fail, all right? I know personally that these are good. By the way, this is my own personal minivan I'm working on, all right? Now, before you put this camshaft on dry, guys, uh, I highly suggest you grab some of this. Some engine assembly lube, all right? This is what I use when I install a uh, camshaft, all right? Especially... Uh, on a brand new head on any head okay that's engine assembly loop now we can install these camshaft and also by the way guys I tend to leave the cam phaser on the exhaust camshaft alright depending on what you're doing now like I'm not replacing the cam phasers on the exhaust side alright so now y'all see how I put that timing chain back on the phaser and got it marked and everything and got the mark in its proper place alright now we can uh, put the cam uh, the caps on okay this is after we put more assembly lube alright now it's time for the caps okay so let's get these caps on here uh, make sure guys you put the caps back in its proper position you don't want to put the wrong and by the way they are numbered so uh, you can't really get it wrong you can look at it and tell it might say something like E1 E2 E3 E stands for exhaust so you know they go on the exhaust side now I'm just gonna semi drive this down okay these there is a torque spec to these caps guys I will put all of that in the description make sure you torque these down properly alright now let's get to the intake uh, camshaft alright there you go just grab a wrench guys and uh, drive that camshaft around where it's supposed to be where the mark will line up perfectly now it's time for the intake camshaft alright more assembly lube guys always use assembly lube when you assemble any kind of engine parts alright uh, let's put some on the top end of it too. All right. So uh, from there, guys, we're gonna install the caps, uh, camshaft caps. Remember, uh, put them in their right position, guys. You don't want to mismatch these. And also remember, I hate to keep repeating myself, but there is a torque specs to everything valve train related, especially these camshafts. But for now, I'm just gonna drive them on with my speed drill. Okay. Uh, now guys, it's time for that phaser, guys. Let's grab this phaser and uh, we're going to put it on in relationship to the timing marks that we uh, marked earlier. It's fairly easy from here, guys. Let's grab the chain, put it in the right spot. Uh, this cam phaser goes on the camshaft fairly easy, guys, but you may need a wrench in order to bring the camshaft itself up into the right spot. Okay, but for now, let's get the, the timing marks lined up. Oh, I'm off one toot. Simply lift it up again and place it. Oh, I'm still off. Okay, let's go right here. That looks good. Now, if you have problems sliding that phase on, just grab your wrench and rock the camshaft back and forth until... Take a look inside of that uh, phaser. There's a little dot that you should line up. It should fall right into that hole. All right, where's my wrench? Where's my wrench? Okay, let me grab my wrench and use this uh, index hex right here. Turn that. And ladies and gentlemen, once it's lined up, y'all see this? I make sure my timing marks are on and look at that. See how well easy that went on. Alright, I have both of my cam phases on. Now that was easy because I have 
the grenade inside of the tensioner and there is extreme slack in the timing chain okay so let me put this oil control valve on hand tight hand tight remember guys there is a torque specs to these oil control valve all right i will list it in the description okay now from there guys we need to use our other two our one zero two zero two two put it back in place because that's where you're going to talk the. that's when you're going to talk the oil control valve to specs let's take a look at these marks make sure they're in specs guys we're getting ready to pull the grenade pin here in a second but one thing i want to uh uh speak on is uh let's take the slack let's try to get all the slack out of the timing chain before you pull the grenade pin because keep in mind, once you pull the grenade pin, it's going to retract into the guy, and the guy will remove any remaining slack out of the chain. All right? There's still some slack right there. Now, take your wrench and simply turn uh, counterclockwise, I want to say. Get all the slack out of it. Make all the slack to where the tensioner is at. All right? Now, guys, it's time to repool. See that? Once we pull that grenade pin, that uh, shaft is going to come out of that tensioner and apply tension to the guide which applies tension to the chain all right we're about ready guys now grab your grenade pin and pull that's it all right that tensioner is now have now been extracted okay it is pressing up against the guide which is pressing up against the chain all right guys uh from there guys do not forget torque everything to spec all right, make sure these camshafts are torqued to spec. Make sure that oil control valve is torqued to spec. Now it's time for the valve cover, and you pretty much wrap it up, guys. If you got any questions, guys, uh, this, this phaser was noisy. But if you have any questions, guys, make sure you are subscribed before you ask the question. Okay, I don't want to go hunt you down and find out if you're subscribed. I love answering questions to my subscribers. So before you ask questions, please already be subscribed. Alright guys, I'm about to wrap this up. Remember, we're going to do bank one on a separate video, guys. Alright? Guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. And I will see y'all on the next video. Yo!